The Denver Zephyrs, the largest and fastest of all the Zephyrs up to that time, won the Denver-Chicago Popularity Contest, hands down, when they were finally introduced in November. Both trains adhered to an exact 16-hour schedule, each leaving within an hour of each other. But the slick, stainless steel exterior and much of the interior gave the trains a pizzazz lacking in the streamliners. The streamliner route was 14 miles longer and they had to go faster. They regularly carted at 100 miles an hour between North Platte and Kearney, despite which the train showed a little more smoothly, probably due to better roadbed and heavier rail. The Zephyr Decor, however, fitted the national mood like a kid glove. Entrance to the lounges was a blaze of Art Deco chrome, and the mooted pastel colors the perfect offset. For almost 300 miles, the tracks of the Burlington parallel the east shore of the Mississippi, a natural for a Vista Dome. Long miles across the prairies leave the Vista Dome viewer in wonder of the rich greens of mid-America and the extraordinary wealth of her agriculture. But mile after mile of repetition eventually turns to serpent. The trip beside the Mississippi, however, is one of unfamiliar sights and constant change. There are the dams and the locks, and an endless variety of barge and tanker churn their snail-like pace upstream. Hemmed against the shore by high bluffs, the passenger, racing at speeds of 80 miles an hour, has a sense of having left mid-America far astern. <laughs> 